everyone, welcome back to my channel. So by the time you're watching this video, I might be on my vacation, most likely in Mexico City. That's where I'm spending the majority of my trip. So that's why I'm like, I'm rocking this, I'm pre-recording and right after this video, I will be shooting a random color challenge video that might be up by the time this is up. I'm not sure, but if it is, I will link it down below. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine for work. I get up super early. I'm up by 3.30 a.m. and I work from five in the morning to 1.30 because San Diego traffic is so bad and I just do not have the time to be stuck in traffic for two or two and a half hours. So. That's why I wake up really early. Um, sounds kind of crazy. I've gotten used to it. It's been almost four months since I started that routine and I actually really, really like it. So um, for my routine, I just keep it very simple, very quick. Normally uh, it takes me 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops, normally 10 minutes to get ready in the morning. Um, it's very simple, very basic. A very minimal makeup routine. I don't do all that much for work, but I just wanted to share with you some of the tips and tricks I use to get ready that quickly for work. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is my base. At the moment, my skin is looking really nice and I'm very thankful that the products that I've been using um, are working really well for my skin, so I don't feel the need to apply a full face of foundation. So i been doing just concealer. The concealer that I've been using a lot recently is this one by the Organic Skin Company. So it's just a cream concealer, but I do tend to just try a lot of different concealers. Another one that I like is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I've used this one a lot from Cover FX. So whatever concealer or base product that you want to use, I'll just do a really quick layer of it. Um, today I will be using this guy, which I've been using a lot in the mornings. So I'm just going to take a big brush. This one is from EcoTools and it fits right in here, which I really like. It makes it super easy to just like dip and then apply. Then I will just start bouncing the brush where I need to place the coverage. I have a little, <laughs> a little lash. Usually the areas that I need to cover are underneath my eyes and I don't cover them completely. I've gotten used to the look of a more natural under eye, but um, usually underneath the eyes and also around my mouth. If I have a blemish, then I'll take my finger and apply a concealer right on the blemish. But I do like using the brush to go over that. Um, this concealer does have a drier formula, so it works really well with my oily skin. If you have a drier skin type, I would recommend something a little bit more moisturizing. This has just been working out really well and it looks like my skin tone, which I really, really like. <laughs> From there, I do like bronzing my skin just a little bit. So I use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and I just go underneath the cheekbone. Just blend upwards and I do like carrying it just a little bit around the nose just for some warmth. And this is such a <laughs> quick and easy step, like literally I'm done. It's not blendable. That's why I like using it in the mornings. Plus the office lighting, ugh, that fluorescent lighting is so dreadful, but this just makes me look a little bit less dead. <laughs> For blush, I've been using a lot of cream blushes lately just because I find them the quickest to apply. So I have this one that I got in my Lure Beauty Box. This is from Au Natural. Um, I have this one by Nude Sticks, um, this one by the Organic Skin Company, and then I do, of course, have Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick. So it all depends on what I'm in the mood for, <laughs> to be honest. So today I want to use this guy from Nude Sticks. This is the um, Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade In the Nude, which is like a wearable peachy pink shade. And I'm gonna be using this little guy. This is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Stipple Brush, which is a little bit bigger than the small stipple brush that I love, but it just, it's the perfect size. I just wish it had a longer handle, but I mean, this is, this is great. It's the perfect stipple brush. I can't complain too much. So I just dry it on my face, then use the brush, and I just bounce this stipple brush on my cheek. It looks a little bit crazy at first, but um, 
don't worry because um, once we set our face with powder it's gonna look a little bit more more muted and I do also like um, just bouncing a little bit on the bridge of my nose again it makes me look a little bit more sun-kissed than uh than I am because <laughs> I'm literally on the computer for hours <laughs> so we got that out of the way now I'm gonna set my makeup and uh, I'm gonna use my trusty milk makeup blur and set powder that I've been using for months for brows I normally stick to a brow gel this one's the dip brow dip brow gel from Anastasia I'm using the shade caramel which is a little bit more warmer in undertone um, but it works for my orange hair that's it for brows they're looking a little bit crazy because I need to get them threaded for my trip but I'm waiting to get them threaded right before my trip so they're like nice and fresh <laughs> for eyes I don't do all that much sometimes I'll take a little bit of liner and just do a simple wing other times um, I just will grab an eyeshadow this is also from my from my allure box and just do a quick wash of color but I will say most of the time I just do mascara like a lot of a big thick coat of mascara and that will be it so that's what I'm gonna be doing today because it's a quick makeup routine for work and to be honest my double monitors don't really care what I'm doing in terms of eyeshadow so mascara it is milk makeup Kush mascara okay so we're almost done now for lips again this is gonna be completely up to you um, I do play around with lip colors a little bit more just because it can complete the look and make you look like you spent a lot more time on your makeup so sometimes I'll go for a red lip like this one from NARS other times I'll just throw on a lip gloss or a lip balm um, I will just throw on this guy which is the satin lip pencil in the shade um, Magella or Mahia, I think um, just to complete the look and the red lip color almost always completes the look and it makes you look like you spend a lot of time on your makeup when in reality you didn't. And that's pretty much all I do Monday through Friday when I work. It's just very simple, but it makes you look polished without trying too hard. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I actually like the way this looks <laughs> with my crazy rainbow like hair clips. I think it looks cute. <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. Sub I can't talk. Subscribe if you're brand new to this channel so you can see more videos. Follow me on Instagram for more content. And plus, you can always reach me on Instagram. I'm always there. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.